Hello there. This is where the fun begins. Hey there guys, unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Obi-Wan Kenobi show with its finale and what Ian McGregor has to say about that, reflecting back on it, what surprised him about it overall. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hop right on into it. In this video we're taking a read from the Direct article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. As they read, months after the series premiered on Disney+, Plus, Obi-Wan Kenobi star Ian McGregor, who played is the titular character reflected on the finale of the show. In May of 2022, the highly anticipated show, Obi-Wan Kenobi, finally began streaming on Disney+. Plus. The release followed years of retooling and had been the works since Disney first bought Lucasfilm in 2019, in active development, firstly being thought to be a movie. And of course, the popular Disney Plus project had an incredible run and packed several surprises, from Princess Leia's unexpectedly massive role in the show, to Qui-Gon Jinn's surprise cameo in the show. Ian McGregor now opened up about his thoughts on the hit Star Wars show, especially its thrilling conclusion overall. Ian McGregor was interviewed alongside his co-star Hayden Christensen for the Disney Studio Awards consideration site, and the stars had reflected on the final confrontation between their characters, McGregor's Obi-Wan Kenobi and Hayden Christensen's Darth Vader slash Anakin Skywalker. And when asked about the transformative moment in which Obi-Wan and Vader clash sabers, McGregor commented on just how emotional it was to film. This took the actor by surprise in a way he hadn't anticipated, saying that in full quote, well, like Hayden said, it took us by surprise a bit, I think. In the playing of it, it became quite emotional in a way that I don't think I had imagined it would be, ending that quote right there. He went on to point out how the series and the confrontations had led up to the moment with the exiled Jedi finally getting his strength back when saving Princess Leia from the rooftop in the show's second episode, saying that in full quote, obviously, the series is leading up to that moment where Obi-Wan has to step back into the ring and has to not only try to step back into the world of the Jedi and the fight, though the series and the confrontations he has, he's sort of building it up. You can really see him getting his strength back, and he has to save Leia when she falls from the roof, ending that quote right there. And still, while there were obvious via stepping stones, the gravity of the final moment was really a surprise, saying that in full quotes from Ian McGregor, there are obviously stepping stones back, but it's leading to this moment where he has to fight his old Padawan, you know, his best friend. So there's this emotional side of that, and then there's the physical side of that as well, and both were really quite a surprise, ending that quote right there. That all being said, this was despite just how beautifully realized the confrontation was. McGregor also praised the talent of fight arranger Jonathan Asobio for the translating deep-seated emotion into the physical struggle. Saying that in full quote, the actual fight itself was unbelievably well-designed and choreographed by Jonathan Asobio, our fight arranger. Beautifully, beautifully realized. So carefully thought about and he'd studied all the fights we'd done in the prequels and took Obi-Wan's style into a place where somebody who's rusty but also old and just very well thought out, but it was hard, ending that quote right there, and it's something I've never really thought about, even as a Star Wars fan for the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, with the way that there are different fighting styles, of course, in canon that we all know about. However, that whole thought of where you have somebody that's a very well-skilled fighter, of course, in lightsaber combat, you take them out of the ring, you take them out of the game, you put them in a corner for a couple of decades, and you bring them back into the game here, you bring them back into the light, you give them a lightsaber and say, go fight this powerful Sith Lord, it's interesting to see that overall. Of course, for one thing, seeing that being built back up as Ian had talked about previously before, but also how his overall fighting style isn't going to be directly choreographed the same here, essentially, and that this overall fight would be arranged differently. His, his overall lightsaber combat style, essentially, is what I'm saying, is different. And I really think that in that quote, Ian McGregor really, honestly, I think, uh, really words that properly in the best way, saying that somebody who's rusty but also older and just very well thought out is the perfect way to describe how Obi-Wan was in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show for when it comes to his overall lightsaber combat. Aside from that, the article continues to say that the physicality did not come without its challenges. Despite this, McGregor commented that the emotionally driven clash was also amazingly satisfying to do, and that this was made even better by the real-life history that McGregor and Christensen really 
we share. Saying that, in full quote, I think both of us felt like it was beautiful for us to be working again together, and there was something about our lives and everything that happened to us since we last worked together. It was sort of in the air between us, so it was a real, I don't know if the word meta is right, but there was something beautiful about that, and it did. It took me by surprise. It was just very moving, ending that quote right there. And that's really another topic that I think goes a little bit underrated, a little bit unnoted here, essentially, for when it comes to the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, is that this is like, sure, it's being paralleled in the universe, in the canon, in the Star Wars, of course, as storytelling prospects. For one thing, that these two characters have such an emotional connection together here, and that, you know, they're like best friends, essentially. They grew up together, and they, they made it together, essentially. And you take that, and you put it in the real world with the actors at the same time as well, is so heartwarming to me as a Star Wars fan. And in that same video, in the same interview, McGregor also reflected on what it was like to return to his role almost a decade after George Lucas's prequel trilogy. He went on to comment that he had understood Obi-Wan's despair in a Cerbell way, and it had been discussed when Disney first started talking about doing this movie. And still, the actor had feared taking the character to a quote-unquote broken place wouldn't be interesting, but its worry was quickly overcome when he realized just how interesting this really could be, saying that in full quote, I think the depth of his despair I understood in a sort of a cerebral way before we came in and when we very, very first started talking about doing this movie, which became a series, of course, ending that quote right there. Ian McGregor seemed to suggest that he hadn't been able to imagine Obi-Wan's despair until he began to act it out in front of the cameras, saying that in full quote, That was my feeling that it wouldn't be interesting to take this character who we know and love from Al Guinness through the original films, through my work in the prequels, and take him to a really different place where he's broken, but I couldn't have really imagined what it felt like until we played it out. That was really interesting, ending that quote right there. And it really does bring into the idea of like, hey, is this actually happening? Is this actually going to become a thing? I think essentially it is what McGregor is kind of talking about in a sense here, and when it, he didn't really think that they would get this far, pretty much, I think is what he's saying. This all being said, will there be an Obi-Wan Kenobi season 2? Nothing is directly really referenced or teased at even in this interview here completely. However, the article says that since the show ended in June, enthusiastic fans have been silently praying for a second season, and despite rumors, a continuation hasn't really been confirmed here officially. Director Deborah Chow confirmed that the show was definitely conceived as a limited series, with a clear beginning, middle, and end. If the show has to continue beyond one season, Chow noted that it would be imperative to answer the question of why. Why would they be doing this? What would they do with it? Why would it be important, essentially? Throughout the promotional tour and the run-up to the overall show, it was also evident that the show was a limited series, and that there was a sense of finality to these prequel characters. Since this could all change, especially given the series' success and how much the cast enjoyed working working together on the project, just about everybody that worked on this project said that they would love to come back for a season 2. Deborah Chow commented that the cast had an incredible time filming the show, and Ian McGregor furthered this sentiment. The actor is totally up for a return to playing the beloved Jedi. And given the staggering popularity of the character and actor, it would be doubtful that Obi-Wan Kenobi, regardless of whether it gets a second season or not, this would be the last time that we would see McGregor in the role is simply still up in the air and something to be pondered about. So let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Do you want a second season of Obi-Wan Kenobi or not? What would you want to see with it? I would love to hear you guys all think in the comments down below. I've previously stated this plenty of times here on the channel before that I would love to see a second season of Obi-Wan Kenobi and even some potentials of what they could do with it. I'll have those videos linked in the description of this one for you guys to check out down below. Of course, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great one, guys. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out. Oh.